Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be giving you a breakdown on fuzzy logic. We're going to begin with a few of the basics, such as what fuzzy logic is and some of the logic behind it. First of all, fuzzy logic is a branch of design to allow certain degrees of reasoning through terms such as very, quite possibly, and unlikely. Fuzzy logic is basically a determination between these states. Next, we'll talk about some of the common principles. Fuzzy perception is an assessment of the condition that is not measured with precision, but given an intuitive value. This serves as the basis of analysis for the fuzzy logic control system. Fuzzy sets can be a mathematical term, but for our purposes, in the presentation, a fuzzy set is an object with elements or members which can belong to it in degrees. Fuzzy variables are words like red, blue, etc. These words are just human opinions that are not based on precise measurements. These words are just variables. We're now going to move on to some of the rules of fuzzy logic and some of the conditions set by the programmer. Fuzzy perception is one of these conditions. What we are doing is setting the conditions to trigger the next set of actions. A fuzzy set is basically a set of conditions that you balance. After this, the variable is obtained and it makes a decision to which you get your variable. In this slide, we have a table for the various combinations of moves that are available. Each one is given a different weight that is set by the programmer. Now we show how many times that the player has entered this for the third move. After it has this information, the computer then makes an estimated guess about what the next move will be, and when to execute that one. This has been a breakdown of what fuzzy logic is. It can go a long way into helping you program believable AI for your project that you are working on. It is implemented worldwide to varying degrees, not only for artificial intelligence, but decision making in general. Before we start the demo, I want to talk about the percents you see in the top right hand corner. Basically, the circle with the red dot that you see will wander around the screen. As long as it stays outside the radius of our two nodes, it will continue to be 100% wander. As it gets closer to either the arrive node or the flee node, you will see the percentages start to change. Thank you for watching this video. 